Hello and welcome back to F-Zero on the SNES. Going into the Queen Leagues this time. Starting out with Mute City 2. Of course, being Mute City 2, not too much is different, but I like this sunset palette more than the daytime palette in the first Mute City course. Dang it, Blue Falcon. Uh, pretty much it just adds two jump pads and that little oval thing. Yeah, it just, it adds all that. So you can go either way here. I like to go this way for whatever reason. Also, another tip. Another F-Zero hot tip. They'll demonstrate on this next lap. So, the jump pads. Okay, so first off, you want to hold down when you're going off one. Because if you don't, you don't, one, you don't go as far, and two, you slow down when you land. This leads right into the other strategy, where you can hold down, jumping off of a boost panel to gain, not a boost panel, jumping off of a jump panel to gain speed. So, like, alright, I'm at 460 now. When I get over to one of those, I'm going to be going a lot slower, especially now. So I'm at 300, I'm now at 400, and I missed the other one. That was, that wasn't the best performance ever. But now make sure to show it this time without screwing up in that circle thing. Uh, oh no, I should not have taken that down. So, we're at 350, we're at 400, and now, we're at 450. Going off of those jump plates does really make a huge difference in your speed, and holding down is very recommended for that. Alright, now we are introduced to a new venue, uh, Port Town. This consistently is where the driver of the Blue Falcon, Captain Falcon, is from. Uh, they kept that consistent in pretty much every F-Zero game, I'm pretty sure. That comes from Port Town. Uh, I'm not sure if it's ever addressed where Dr. Stewart, the driver of the Golden Fox, comes from. But we know where Pico, driving this vehicle I'm in right now, is from. Either Sand Ocean or Death Wind, and uh, I think in the next course, I'm pretty sure it's the next course, we learn where the driver of the Fire Stingray, Samurai Goro, is from. And you see those other sections of road that are blocked off there? Those aren't like shortcuts or you can make it with a clever jump. That's actually limitations of the technology at the time. Those are leftover sections from the second port town course. The limitations of the time meant that there wasn't enough storage space to make two separate maps. So you can actually see what they've done here. They have they put down certain tiles in the they put down certain tiles on the map, like these black ones that stop you from passing them, and the yellow electric barriers. And then they put that in front of the path for the second track, and then they do the same thing. But for like this straight, you turn over onto that bit. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. I'm not sure if I've explained it the best, but hey, I tried. 
I'm gonna give it one more go at explaining it. I'm actually gonna pause when I get there this time. Alright, so right here, that section with the black bar and the... The section with the road behind that black bar and the yellow electric things? That's from Port Town 2. Because of the limitations of the technology at the time, they only had enough space to just block that path and the path to the finish line from Port Town 2 off. In Port Town 2, they block off the little bit that we just went over like five times in Port Town 1. I'm not sure if that was the clearest, but I tried. Yes, this, this right here, Red Canyon. Not only is it where Samurai Goro is from, but it's got my favorite track in the game. Favorite music track. I don't know what it is about this music track. I don't like it. And you got these jumps. Uh, right there, that little... That blinking tile pattern. Those are magnets, and they will pull you... They, they will make you descend from a jump faster. That's what they do. Uh, if you land on them, they do damage to you as well. But as long as you go over them, you're fine. Alright, so it's time to address this. Not every track is available in practice. You have 7 out of 15 tracks. So if you're going for records on the tracks that aren't in practice mode, you have to do it in the Grand Prix. What I'd suggest for doing that is going into beginner difficulty so that the AI doesn't get in the way. And then just collecting and if you're going for a good lap time, just get three boosts all at once and use them in one single lap. But since I'm not going for record times, so I'm just, you know, playing through the game. We're just gonna head straight and use one per lap. So I let go of down too early there, which meant that I did lose some speed by hitting the ground. We got another first place. Uh, next up is White Land 1. Uh, the color for yellow in this course is changed to that sort of dark teal color? Yeah, it's changed to that color in the stores. So any flag, anything that was flashing purple and yellow before now flashes purple and a dark teal. For example, those magnets. Uh, this course is called White Land because it's supposed to be covered in snow. Of course, we can see down there, that doesn't really look like snow. But on the course, we have ice and the dirt looks like snow, so you know what, I believe it. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really look like snow, but... The atmosphere here is kind of pinkish purple, so... Yeah. I just said atmosphere instead of sky. Uh, really. So this section, of course, you want to use the gum pads to avoid going over the dirt. So I didn't do most. So I didn't do 100% the best there, but mm, serviceable. Alright, 
got another one of these exploding cars. And give him a wide burst to pass it because they are still very dangerous. Uh, those can very easily mess up your race. Not gonna be overtaken, not yet. There are more difficult tracks ahead. There are tracks that are way more difficult than this coming up. Okay. This next track, White Land 2. There are two important things about it. One, it has a remix of the White Land theme on it. And it sounds pretty good. This is the only track this happens with. Two, you may see on the minimap that there is a gap in the track there. That is a jump. Now that jump, if you don't hold down to jump over that jump, you cannot make that jump first lap. You have to be holding down. That's the only way that you'll get enough distance for it. Now, I'm pretty sure you can do it with just a, with a turbo boost and not holding down after that. But you need to hold down the first time anyway, so what's the point? Also, you want to go in with a good amount of speed, so let's say I don't have the best speed coming in here, like let's say, oh no, I'm going too slow, just floor it, use your boost, go off the jump, you'll have enough speed to pull down and make it. Oh, okay, the Blue Falcon's in first. This is actually unusual. I'm gonna tell you why. Internally, the game doesn't really care about the top speed stat. The speed for the AI vehicles is actually decided based on what difficulty you do. So usually, the Golden Fox is in first all the time because its acceleration is the best and for no other reason than that. But the Blue Falcon's in first this time, usually it's in second. And if you're wondering where the Wild Goose is in the set of AI racers, it's way in the back. The Fire Stingray is ahead of it most of the time. That's only when it's an AI racer, by the way. Well, I mean, I say that, but the Fire Stingray is the dominant vehicle in the game for speedruns. So... I don't know. Anyway, White Land 2... With the end of White Land 2, this is gonna finish off the Team League, and then we only have the King League left. The hardest of the lot. So let's just see how we've done this time. Uh, oh, one, one more thing. Uh, if you time a jump on that jump pad correctly, there's a jump pad on the other side as well. If you time a jump off this one correctly to land on the other one, you can supposedly jump to white land one. But, again, I'm, I've used Drive Anywhere to investigate that, and I can't seem to figure out what part of either course that would be. But it doesn't seem to be White Land- it doesn't seem to be White Land 1, but it doesn't seem to be White Land 2 either, and it's really confusing.
It could be either. I have no idea. But next time, we'll see you in the King League. See you guys then.